Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create data macros to evaluate data when it is entered into tables. These macros perform the same function that stored procedures do within larger relational database applications such as Microsoft SQL Server, for example. You can also create named data macros that can be called in the same way that standalone macros can be called. To create a data macro, first display the table within which you want to create the data macro in Datasheet View. Next, click the Table tab within the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select with which data event to associate the macro by clicking the desired event from the listing shown in the Before Events and After Events button groups. Your choice determines when this macro is executed. If macros have already been set for any of these events, the buttons will appear highlighted in the ribbon. Next, the macro design window will appear. Select the actions you want to execute when this macro is triggered in the future. When you are finished, click the Save button in the Design window to save the data macro. You can also create a named macro that is associated with a selected table but not with any particular event that occurs within the table. These macros can be run by other data macros or by standalone macros. To create a named data macro, simply click the Named Macro drop-down button in the Named Macros button group on the Table tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click the Create Named Macro command in the drop-down menu that appears. Create the macro as normal by using the actions available in the Add New Action drop-down. You can also add parameters if needed to your data macro. Parameters let you pass values to a named data macro so they can be evaluated. You can also use them to pass object references from a standalone macro to a data macro. To add a parameter to a data macro, click the Create Parameter hyperlink at the top of the macro. Next, in the name box, type a unique name for your parameter. This will be the name you use to refer to the parameter in your expressions. Optionally, you can type a description for the parameter into the Description text box. This is recommended because when you use the parameter in the future, the description you enter here will be displayed as a tooltip. This helps you remember the purpose of the parameter. You can run a named data macro from another macro that you have created by using the Run Data Macro action within the standalone macro. This action provides a box for each parameter created within the data macro so you can give it the necessary parameter values. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.